Hello everyone. Uh, today I would like to discuss the topic in Azure is how to migrate your on-prem servers to Azure using a uh, Veeam backup solution. Okay. Uh, this is also one of the good feature uh, migrating your on-prem uh, servers to Azure. For example, your organization using already a, a Veeam backup software to taking your workload uh, backups, your uh, on-prem Hyper-V, VMware or physical servers backups it's running in uh, veeam backup so you would like to uh, uh, migrate the servers from on prem to azure or aws gcp so you can uh, use this veeam backup solution to migrate to uh, workloads okay so let's first know the steps for the migration process okay so you have to add your uh, subscription under manage cloud subscription in veeam backup solution veeam backup software okay uh, then you need a backup of the vm okay let us the backup uh, then you have to create the vnet energy public ip and resource groups uh, in a subscription as a subscription azure or aws so so then you have to select your backup then restore to microsoft azure okay you can uh, do it for same process for azure aws gcp okay so and one thing you should remember if uh, uh, you have to choose a region closest to the your uh, um, workload. Okay, for example, you are in India, your servers in India, like uh, South India, West India. So uh, you have to uh, you have to choose a closest region for the uh, low latency. Okay, but if you are having a recommend, you are looking to move another region. Mean you can uh, choose any region. Okay, that is uh, based on your requirement. Okay. So let's have a quick demo how to do it. So uh, see, uh, this is my uh, on-prem server. Okay, so I have a server in uh, Hyper-V. Okay, so I have a CentOS and Windows 10. Okay, uh, so this is my Windows 10 server, which is running in Azure. Sorry, sorry, this is my Windows 10 server which is running in uh, VM uh, Hyper-V. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, migrate this server using a Veeam backup solution. Okay, so uh, uh, I have already taken backup. Okay, this is my Windows 10 machine. Okay, so I have configured uh, this Hyper-V server with my Veeam backup. I'm taking backup through uh, Veeam backup. Okay. So let me go to inventory. See, this is my Hyper-V server. Okay, this is my Hyper-V server. So I'm having uh, these three servers so in Veeam backup solution. Uh, I have taken backup for. Uh, so I have backup for CentOS and Windows 10. Okay. Let's quickly see my servers. Let me connect. Uh, okay, so this is my on-prem server. Okay, so I kept some data over here for testing purpose. Okay, so so I had taken a backup of the VM. Okay, so here here are options you can migrate to Amazon, Microsoft, Google. So you can do it. Okay, as I said, I have already uh, configured my credential, Azure credential here. You can see this is my Azure credential. I have already added here. Okay, so now just I'm selecting my backup. So you have to uh, select your backup. Okay, this is your backups. Okay, so I have uh, uh, two machines, CentOS and VM uh, and uh, Windows 10. Okay, let me select my Windows 10. Okay, just I'm selecting. Then select uh, which cloud you want. Okay, I'm using uh, Azure. Okay, this is my server name. Okay, click next. So here you have to select a subscription. So I have multiple subscription. So if you have multiple subscription, it will say multiple subscription. Okay, I have only. Uh, so I am selecting my Amazon subscription. Then you have to select a region. Uh, then click next.
uh, here you have to select a VM size okay so before that you have to ensure which the size is available in your region okay so let me go to select a D series so two cores 8 GB for this VM so the storage type would be managed disk okay click next so here you have to select a V this is machine name so the VM name in this is raw Azure VM name okay so let me select here it's on term name right on term on term on term region so we can select uh, add suffix and uh, prefix if you want let me add a suffix restored okay so then you have to select a resource group either you can select resource group or you can create a resource group here as here as well that is convenient so let me select a resource group like it. it's a v migration okay so i have already created the network city group there Okay, let me select the network city group network uh, so i have created a network group v, vnet name called vnet migration and subnet name so if you want a public ip you can click add or you can don't want me to connect you can select a do not assign okay so i'm going to assign so i selected next so uh, after finished so it will take restore okay so let me start click finish so the process is going on okay so here you can check the statistics how much is going on okay logs everything will uh, it will be displayed here You can see Azure Restore is started, so you can see the, the status of uh, the object remaining and uh, how much data copied here. So you can get, you will see the logs, everything. Okay. Okay. So meantime, what you can do, you can go and check. Uh, I created the resource group, right? The beam migration. Let's see whether it's available in my subscription uh, we get the veeam veeam migration right let me select veeam hyphen migration right see okay it's started now the, the, the resource group has been created okay see here on term vm disk so this is our disk okay the progress it's in progress actually so the veeam backup uh, started the restore option okay it's in it's in progress okay see uh, 15 gb left so it's in progress oh, oh it's it's uh, it's it's very fast uh, as i expected okay uh, so let's see the status and the logs okay the data copy is completed okay so the conversion in progress let's go and see how it's going on top of browser the flash so i am resuming video for some time then we'll see so it started the creating urgent vm okay it's in progress uh, you can see uh, this is my server see this is my on term vm it's it's in a creating pro create uh, creating progress okay so using beam solution so within a minute uh, so, so sorry it's taking a very less time to migrate the less uh, administration work okay just to go and select the VMs and you can migrate. Okay. So the creation in progress. So 
so let's see the uh, request group so the components are whether created or not yes uh, em is created in progress the i public api is created then network interface got created and the nsc group created so it's all in creation in progress okay let's wait for some time Mm, let me refresh. Oh, my server is ready. So okay, so you can see my on-prem server uh, migrated. Uh, so it, it took only 15 minutes, I think. So let let me see. See, uh, roughly 15 minutes. I complete. I completely migrated my on-prem uh, server to Azure using Veeamrack solution. Okay. Uh, let me go to my server. Let me connect. Uh, where is my public IP address? Uh, this is my public IP address. It's my on term, right? On term PM. Okay, it's in uh, Azure now. This is my on term VM, now it's in Azure. So, what possibly provided? Oh, sorry, I think I haven't provided the password. Okay, let me reset the password. Let me try again. Um, Yes. Okay. Loading. Okay, you can see my on-prem server now moved to cloud. Okay. You can see this is my on-prem server, which was in cloud. So now you can see. This is my Hyper-V server. Okay. See, this is my Hyper-V server. So this is my on-prem server. Okay. Okay, it's tempered disk. It's also tempered disk. So I think uh, this is this was useful information. This useful video for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.